Hello, everybody. Um, good afternoon. Thanks for coming to my uh, uh, talk today, which will be on um, meeting learning objectives with uh, Tatara Learning Management System. Uh, my name's Sam Morgan, and uh, I'm one of the directors at MindClick. Uh, we provide um, bespoke training uh, along with learning management systems uh, in the shape of Tatara. Um, during the course of the next 30 minutes or so, I'm going to talk to you, uh, I'm going to show you some case studies really of how our clients are actually using um, Tatara and how they're using it specifically to solve problems that they uh, have come across. Before I do that, what I'd like to do, if this clicker works, is tell you a little story, um, really what kind of drove me personally to uh, to look at a Tatara as a solution to a problem that I saw. Now, back in the uh, early 90s, I was sat in a, a physics lecture, and my lecturer put this uh, equation on the board. And there was no real discussion between us. There was no opportunity for me to ask questions. There was no opportunity for me to ask questions to my peers, uh, and my peers to ask questions to me. Um, we were told simply that, you know, E equals mc squared, energy, mass, times the speed of light squared. Uh, and there was no practical application taught to us. You know, what does that mean in real life? Um, so that led me to really look at traditional learning with a, uh, quite a negative outlook, really. So I had no feedback to the trainer. Uh, I was unchallenged. I was unmotivated. I did two years of this, and uh, uh, at the end of it, I got an E, I think, something like that. Um, and there was no peer or one-to-one -one feedback. So it got me thinking uh, a little bit. Much later on in my career, how can we look at solving the issues of traditional learning? Well, uh, an educational psychologist back in 1984, uh, Benjamin Bloom, he studied three, um, three groups of people. One of them was my group of people, which were the lecture-based uh, environment. Um, and then he, he sought to improve that, really. And he, he thought, how can I improve that? Uh, so he, he went and came up with this idea here, uh, the lecture-based environment with a mastery approach. And again, how can we improve on that? Uh, and he started to think, well, maybe one-to-one -one is the way to go. Um, the problem I was having, uh, I think, was summarized by Mark Twain. Uh, college is a place where a professor's lecture notes go straight to the student's lecture notes without passing through the brains of either. And that was certainly true uh, in my case. I ended up with a book this thick, just with notes and notes and notes and equations, and it really, really didn't, didn't help. So the lecture-based learning, um, what Benjamin Bloom was saying, that in that environment, the bulk of achievement will be in the uh, middle of that graph there. So around about 50%, you have some high achievers and you have some low achievers. He sought to uh, improve that and the mastery approach that he came up with was let the students actually master one chunk of e-learning or, or one chunk of training before they move on to the next subject. Um, and further to that, if we do that one-to-one, -one, if we offer one-to-one -one tuition in that lecture environment with a mastery approach, the achievement score goes um, quite high. So what we want to do uh, is push towards this, this green line, really. And <clears throat> in a real-life scenario, that's really difficult because a typical client of ours has 50,000 users, potentially. Now, if I had that job and my boss came to me and said, right, 50,000 learners, you have to teach them, um, you have to teach them one-to-one -one because that's how it works best. Well, let's assume that I can get um, 20 people a day through my uh, training course. Uh, that means I need to run 2,500 sessions, right? Um, if I have 10 trainers, I know it's purely hypothetical, um, but this is a problem that one of our real clients has today, then I need to have 250 sessions per trainer. Now, I started to do a little bit of research on this, and 
Uh, there's 252 working days in the year currently. So I'm being asked as a trainer of 10 uh, to work 250 of those, um, those days. Now, as a, uh, as a company owner, I thought it would be quite interesting to uh, maybe write the uh, job ad advertisement for that. And here's what I came up with. Stand-up trainer required, ambitious individual, uh, must be willing to work 14 hours per day, uh, including Christmas with a love for travel, preferably in your own time. Now, nobody is going to apply for that job. So we've got a problem here because we have 50,000 people that we need to train. How can we do that effectively? This is maybe the guy that applies for that job. I don't know. <laughs> OK, so let's look at the problem again. We've got to push towards this green line. We've got to get individuals trained one-to-one uh, -one in an ideal scenario. Perhaps we can use technology to do that. Currently, one in seven people have a smartphone. This is globally. Uh, that's one billion people uh, currently in the world that have access to a device. Um, two in seven people have access to a desktop PC, and that only gets better when we look at the uh, Western economies. In the UK, 53% of people, one in two people, have a smartphone. Now, I'm sure that uh, in the corporate world, that figure is even higher. Uh, in the States, that's 55%. So technology is not the issue here. Uh, we have the technology to deliver one-to-one -one training. Uh, we need a way to deliver a personal, uh, uh, on personal technology that allows for a mastery approach um, with discussion on uh, course and question topics. So one possible solution for that there could be Tatara. Now, Tatara is a uh, a snapshot, really, of Moodle uh, learning management system. And it adds things like program management, uh, resource management. So you can actually start to create structures within your training and send an individual down a pathway. It provides corporate support levels, uh, or we provide corporate support levels. Um, the primary difference, really, between Tatara and Moodle is that Tatara uh, is a course management system and not a student management system. Uh, that's quite key. It allows for personal one-to-one -one reviews. So there's a real hierarchy within Tatara. And um, if you have a situation where a manager wants to review an individual, uh, they can do that. And they can create a customized learning plan for that individual. It allows for social interactions. Um, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more of that in a second. Um, I'd like to introduce to one of our clients, I thought maybe better he speak about this than me. Um, this is BAT, British American Tobacco, and really as a case study into how they uh, deployed mobile technology to actually solve uh, this one-to-one -one issue that they had and the vast numbers of individuals that work with them. They wanted to get away from desk learning and um, they wanted to open up this bring your own technology. Uh, for individuals. So if I just, uh, whoops. Well, e learnings was very central for the project that MindClick have done, uh, mainly due to the fact that we needed a remotely hosted system uh, and to enable uh, external access to our internally hosted. Uh, global learning zone was an IT nightmare and uh, it was very expensive so the, the cheapest and easiest option was to basically have a, an externally hosted learning management system. I suppose really in the last six to nine months we've recently opened up the Wi-Fi to enable uh, anybody to connect their Android or, or iPad device uh, to the, uh, the actual internal network so that's a relatively new thing um, so yeah the iPad is the preferred use uh, if people haven't done it before so I suppose really our our key level of success really was actually getting a deliverable product on time in budget but also something that looked um, in line with our corporate tools um, and to be able to deliver the right message at the right level to the right people and for them to understand why we're doing it 
Um, and for me, the main measure of success was around about 90% uh, of our employees getting a security pass on their first day, um, which would have been an improvement on between one and two weeks, depending on where they were in the process. Okay, so what we've got there is a, um, a client that are actually delivering through a cut down to Tara. Uh, we stripped out a lot of the functionality um, and we've delivered a, uh, a course through it, just one course, an onboarding course that's delivered uh, to their employees via uh, Android or, or Apple or whatever. And they've actually placed Apple devices within their offices and around their offices uh, to allow delivery of that. Uh, they also track usage um, and um, he said, as he said, uh, they found that uh, people attaining a security pass has dropped from uh, two weeks to within one day. Okay, so I've been talking about this mastery approach and um, Benjamin Bloom, well, how do we use Tatara to actually do that? I'd like to, if, uh, if this works, is to take you into an actual live uh, environment now. So this is an online environment um, for B Sky B, where uh, they're using Tatara to um, actually present programs to learners and restrict their access. So they must master a topic before they can move on to the next topic. Um, so this is a typical um, Tatara screen, and in here we have a list of programs. There's a new starter program. And within there, you'll notice that there's a path that I now need to take. I'm not allowed to take this course here, this induction seminar, so I can't book myself onto a face-to-face -face course uh, until I've taken the welcome module. So as a new starter, I have to go through this welcome module. Um, and, and, and on it goes. So we have a legal seminar up and coming, and, and I can't book onto that just yet. So if I go ahead and launch this welcome module, we can break down each of the activities within a course and we can restrict access. You'll notice that these bottom ones here are, uh, are grayed out. So um, I can't take the introduction to your new role module until I've taken a getting started quiz. So what do you know about Sky currently? Um, once I've done that, it's very important that I offer opportunities for feedback from the learning pool. So once I've taken this piece of e-learning here, uh, there's a chat session that's opened, uh, a live one-to-one -one chat. Um, you can ask any questions that you may have on that session. And you'll notice down the side as well, there's some uh, comments on that particular course. There's a discussion going on there uh, and uh, an admin user's answering them. Um, so that's one way we can support the mastery approach. We restrict content until they've actually mastered, uh, and that can be tested, of course, uh, a previous subject. Okay, um, I want to have another look at uh, another one of our clients. Can anybody hear that? That seems to have a faulty mic here. Yeah? Okay. Um, Laser are responsible for store cards in the UK. So if you've got a House of Fraser, uh, you use a House of Fraser store card, it's these guys that process the information. They're getting this kind of information out of Tatara at the moment. It's a typical report. It's quite granular. We have um, several questions there, and we have individuals' responses to each of those questions. But you can't really do a lot with that. And what they wanted to do is to find out whether the courses were working. They wanted to find out whether the courses were working through uh, system feedback and also individual feedback. So what we did is we broke each question down uh, into um, how many passes and how many fails on an individual question. This particular question, uh, question five, which was a multiple choice question, 41% of people were failing it. Now, when I first looked at that graph, I thought, well, okay, 41%, that's, that's not too bad. Um, but then that's 4,100 people uh, getting a question wrong. Now, why is that? Is that a fault of the course? Is it a fault of the question itself? So what laser do, <clears throat> um, and this is a quote, I, I won't read this out, don't worry. There's two main points here. Uh, they, ha they hold regular stakeholder meetings uh, once every month where they can actually assess the data provided to them by individuals uh, answering feedback questionnaires. And they also uh, act on system feedback, so the, the feedback that the reports are generating. Uh, 
And what they did with that particular, uh, in that particular case is uh, they took that multiple choice question and they restructured it. Uh, and what they found is that that 41% failure rate has dropped to around about 10% failure rate on that particular question because now they have dropped down. So Tatara supports lots and lots of different ways of uh, presenting uh, questions. Okay, so I want to touch on our issues again. Um, looking back to my physics days, I, I had no uh, feedback opportunity with the trainer. Tatara offers that feedback opportunity. Um, unchallenged or unmotivated learners. How do you motivate people through a system? Well, let's look at what motivates people. Uh, typically, typically, it's a selfish need. Um, it's an increase in pay, maybe. It's peer respect. Uh, it's personal safety. Uh, maybe an improved working environment. Um, but motivation is not going to come through the learning management system. What's required is a learning management system that actually supports those methodologies. Uh, we need the ability to provide proof of learning in the form of open badges, perhaps, that they can actually take to a, uh, another employer, or uh, a certificate that proves they've actually taken that course. Um, we need peer contact through social elements, whether that's a chat, a wiki, uh, a forum, whatever that might be. Um, another one of our clients, um, I can't mention who this is, but perhaps you can guess in a minute. Um, they structured their courses with a pretest, uh, followed by a, a lesson in whatever form. Uh, that was followed by an opportunity for feedback and a reward at the end. But this was a year's plan. Along that pathway, they put little suites, and they were in the form of uh, games, right? So if I just play this for you. <clears throat> what we've got here is an opportunity for the learner to break out from the learning. But these are restricted activities. You can't get to these activities until you have actually done your training. Now, what's the motivation here, you might ask? Um, once an individual had done this uh, game, they were given the opportunity to add their name to a high score list. It was a competitive environment. So uh, the actual learner was put onto a high score list. Every month there was a, a 250 pound voucher and the team could go out. And they did that every single month. And they did that throughout the, the year. So they provided motivation through the system uh, by restricting access to these little suites, I guess. Um, I spoke a lot about Tatara now uh, and, and the social element. Well. Tatara has got quite a few activities in there that will allow your learners to talk. And not just the learners, the managers, uh, the training managers, the people creating the courses, getting feedback. Uh, there's lots and lots of different things in there. Here we've got a manager talking to a learner on a learning plan. Uh, a learner's actually requested some training. Uh, and um, the manager said, well, look, no. Uh, I think maybe this training is more uh, responsible uh, for you. And that goes through to the learner's dashboard. So each learner has a dashboard with activities and tasks. Um, have your say, so we can capture feedback through the system. Uh, we have live comments. So if you have a comment to make, uh, you're given that opportunity as a learner on, on any course. And uh, you can get feedback uh, that way as well. Each manager within the system has a, a team that they're responsible for, and they have the opportunity to view their records or, or maybe some bookings that they've made and actually talk to them as well. They can uh, mass email them, for instance, or they can pick on one individual and start a conversation with them. They can also create learning plans for them, should they need to. Um, we've got live chat as well. So we can open up a chat session during a course. And if an individual has a question, they can go into a chat room, as you'd expect, and talk about the problems they're having or any solutions that they, they may have. Uh, and again, just a different view of the, um, the, the, uh, the learning plan actually being commented on here by a manager who also has the opportunity to change the courses. So each user has a, um, a tasks and alert box uh, within Tatara. And if a learner requests something, then the manager gets an alert. But 
you know, the thing about Tatara is it's an open source product. So there's a team of global developers working on it, ourselves included. And what's coming out of that is that courses need to be more social, right? It's got these great uh, solutions in there for wikis and so on. But people want more social activity. They want feeds. They want to be able to um, rank courses. They, they want their, their peers to be able to see that they've done a course, maybe taken an activity and scored something, and, and maybe recommend courses. So later this year, um, Tatara Social uh, will be released. And um, that will address those, those issues. OK, so Tatara is a highly flexible system supporting a range of learning activities. We can customize uh, Tatara. Because it's open source, we can write uh, blocks for it. We've written a CPD block. Um, so it's highly customizable to meet your precise needs. It pushes the boundaries of the possible because it isn't a proprietary system. There are people out there experimenting, trying new uh, avenues, uh, solving problems. So looking back to our issues, uh, no feedback to trainer on course improvement. Well, you know, Tatara gives you that opportunity. Uh, unchallenged or unmotivated users, it's not going to solve those problems for you. But it gives you those tools to solve those problems. Uh, and there's no peer or one-to-one -one feedback in a traditional environment, or certainly the one that I was involved in. Um, and Tatara gives you the opportunity to, to do that. Uh, if you would like to know more information, um, you can visit our website. We're on stand three, just over there. Does anybody have any questions? Yes. Uh, the question was uh, SCORM and what was the other one? And, and Tinkan support. OK. Um, SCORM support is uh, supported, so you can create courses in any um, authoring tool and upload them to this. Uh, SCORM 2004 is um, uh, it's got a limited API at the moment. Uh, Tinkan is being developed at the moment. The API has just been released, and that's being worked on at the moment. Um, but there is a solution in the pipeline, yes. Okay, thank you very much for your time.